Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try these um, Appetitos Pepper Jack Filled Pretzel Bites. It sounds really good. They look really good. I like the, the cheese on the outside of them. Um, net weight is 10 ounces or 283 grams. The serving size is three bites, but it doesn't say how many bites you get in the box. So we make sure. We bought these at Aldi's. This is, a, I guess that's an Aldi's brand. They were $2.29 at Aldi. And let's see, you get three bites per serving and there's five servings, so you get 15 bites in the box. 160 calories for three, eh, not too bad. And here's your other information for you. So, they do have oven directions. If you wanna do oven or toaster oven, there's, there's directions. These are frozen, by the way. Um, let's see, microwave, we're gonna range through pretzel bites on a microwave safe plate. Uh, microwave on high for 25 to 30 seconds till warm. Let's stand one minute. I'm gonna go 25 just to see what they're how they work um, Does have a pull tab Got it. Oh, And they're in the bag so I got a plate You probably put them on a paper plate too. I can't imagine in the time that it's going unless the cheese leaks out um, it being bad on a paper plate but I've just got a burger plate so why not use it so we want three of these there's two stuck together and there's three so I'm gonna get these in the microwave for 25 and I'll be back all right so here they are out of the microwave the cheese leaked a little bit but I think 25 seconds was a good number it keeps it from leaking too often but that one didn't leak at all so I'm gonna take this over the table probably let it cool off for just a few seconds and I'll be back all right just let them set for just a few seconds. We're literally walked over here, set the camera up, and I'm, I'm going. So here's what I'm going to try. Oh, wow. I immediately get the flavor of the pepper jack cheese. I mean, immediately you get the peppery kind of flavor. I like the texture of the pretzel bites itself. They're um, they're soft and chewy, which is a good soft pretzel for me. Um, if you put them in the oven, I don't know that they would change it a lot. They might crisp up, but I don't think so. And just, I don't think, I think they're going to more thaw out and heat up the cheese than, than really do much else. So I think in the microwave is fine for these because they are um, a really good texture. It's soft. The pretzel itself has a good flavor. They're missing some salt. Like they don't have a salt. Um, sprinkle on top of them but the the cheese itself adds quite a bit of flavor so you don't necessarily miss the salt but but it just know there's not a lot of salt on there um the cheese is good too if you like a pepper jack cheese i mean it's it's pepper jack cheese i think it's strange though that they um if these are appetizers like truly appetizers like you're gonna have at a party um well, I guess you would just bake them in the oven. I'm just thinking, you would take you five times heating these up three at a time to heat the whole tray up. By the time the first one, or by the time the last one's done, the first ones are going to be ice cold. So it doesn't really work as an appetizer doing them that way. So you just throw them in the oven, all of them at the same time. However, if you want to eat them yourself, just do three at a time. They only take 25, 30 seconds. Do three of them. By the time that you eat those three, put the other one in there. Heat those up, you're ready for another three and you're ready to go. So, I really like the taste of these. I like the taste of them, I like the textures. I like the, everything's really good about them. I'm gonna give them a four out of five. I don't think they're gourmet, but I do think they're really, really good. Definitely worth trying out uh, if you're interested. I'll probably eat another three or four of them. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.